Shroud of Rest. Greetings, I'm Shad, and throughout the history of sword enthusiasm, there's an interesting phenomenon that kind of uh, arises, and it's the fact that we almost ascribe style and personality to these swords. But also, the fact that these swords are used differently to one another, that one type of sword encourages a certain style of use over another, kind of instills a personality to the sword, because it usually, we usually ascribe style of use to styles of people. And that's brought an interesting thought to my mind. And to introduce that thought, I'm gonna have Nate come and help me out. How are you, Nate? I am good today, Shad, though it is very hot. It Australian is a, summer is a thing. It is a hot day. It is. So, I have been talking about that. Swords kind of develop a personality. More than you know. You want to know a fun little story? I would love to know a fun story. So, back in the days of reenactment, I still do it, but back mm -hmm. in the days where I did it a lot, we had one sword we called Vorpal. And the reason we <laughs> called it Vorpal is because it, it literally, no matter who wielded uh, uh, it, aimed at the neck. Mm -hmm. So, it had a personality that was very lethal. <laughs> very, very lethal. But you are right. A lot of these different mm -hmm. swords lend themselves to certain ways of being used and almost create an element a of personality. A persona, yes. almost. Yes. And it is related to the, sometimes we name swords, and even the naming is often associated with their look. Mm -hmm. So with the sword from my novel, uh, I've named it Imperious because it reflects its its appearance. It's a very fancy, royal-looking sword. It's a very regal-looking sword. Exactly. And so, yeah, name, even naming sword terminology kind of works that way as well. So what I want to do in this video is we have a list, of, a, a group of mm -hmm. some of the most classic swords what is the collective noun for swords? Swords? I was going to say an awesome of swords. Uh, uh, an awesome of swords. <laughs> uh, we have all these swords here, right? We're not. Uh, we're just looking at like the base kind of representation. So, because okay. I know if you could get like a super fancy style. You love this one, yeah. I love those ones. No, this isn't necessarily representative of all arming swords, but no. it is representative of its type. Yes. So even though we're trying to focus on the classics, even some of our representative types are more different or, or, or unique, you could say, uh, than others. But anyway, so what we're going to do, we're going to be looking at the representative examples we have here and decide what we think their personality would be. If we were to characterize these swords, mm -hmm. what would they be if they had a profession or if they were a person? Okay, kind of thing, okay? okay. maybe even their name, but not, not like Vorpal or yes. Kingslayer, more like Bob. <laughs> well, because what's also going to be involved with this analysis is their reputation generally as well Ooh. and how people view the sword. Okay. 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 I'm and liking this. I'm liking this. This is, this is tapping into my, to my role play exactly. nerves and geeky nerves. I think what we need to do, we need to start out with the some of the two classics, the biggest rivals, yep. Longsword and Ooh. then katana. Okay. But first, okay. first longsword. And that's a very specific type of longsword, like yes, you said, type 18. Type 18 from the Oak Shop typology, 18C. C. And so this isn't necessarily fully proper representative longsword. It is also another. Uh, it is, it mm -hmm. is. But nonetheless, longsword. So mm -hmm. what, what would you think? What's some personality traits? What's its name? What's its profession? I think the longsword might have a bit of a superiority complex. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> Because it always seems to get overlooked, but it's such a good sword, it's like, hang on, don't I deserve some credit? Exactly. And those people who mm -hmm. then go to use the long sword are immediately like, oh, this thing is this thing is just superior. Yes. So yes. that makes sense. That makes sense. I am thinking Olympic athletes that come second place <laughs> when it should have gotten first. <laughs> Olympic athlete that has gotten some gold. Gold, yeah, that, that absolutely gets some gold. has gotten some gold. Mm -hmm. But but always seems to to uh, not quite be adaptable to every situation. Mm -hmm. In their sport, they are great. Yes. But yeah. I, th I think that that kind of suits. I really think that kind of suits. What about mm -hmm. a name? Oh, a name. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of Olympic athletes like <laughs> Hussein Bolt. It's not yeah, really European. Not really, and it's also not, not all uh, very fast. Yeah. What, about, what about something like... Um, that's, I was going to say Keith, but Keith is a little too Australian. <laughs> yeah. uh, so we need to come up with something very European, something perhaps a little... Jethro. Ing no, I was more thinking like William. William! I like William. I li yes, I think yes. I think William, specifically like you have to overpronounce it. Not William. Yes. William. Or, and you could even put the... 
William. Oh, William. 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 It's like it's like a cool whip. Yes. William. Now, we absolutely want to hear your oh, opinions yeah. in the comments below of what you think the profession characteristic of these swords would be. And if you agree or disagree, I think Olympic athlete for, for long sword. I absolutely do. I think I think we've nailed that one. But then, like you said, we come to the katana, which I mean this thing. It is elegant. As much as I am not a katana weeb, I love these things for what they are. It's for very what they pretty. Are. It is. And a lot of people become attracted to it because of its appearance. Yep, and because of its culture and, and everything that surrounds and it. And like the, the culture over uh, hypes it a bit. <gasps> yes. You know, sp spreading itself out amongst all cultures. It, look, the katana has a pretty impressive kind of propaganda push with its anime and and popular media it does it does maybe for a profession then a martial art now a martial artist no, very, no, no, no. Well, i'm thinking very specific type of martial art because sometimes sometimes certain martial arts are over exaggerated for what they are possibly i was but thinking, they are still good they are still very good martial arts i was thinking whore <laughs> nah it's nah. very pretty it gets pimped out a lot it, it, and, and, and it's very popular it like, does. like a lot of people end up picking it up just for the looks <sighs> we'll agree to disagree on that one <laughs> <laughs> I, th I personally think martial artists what do you guys think uh, Shad thinks uh, lady of the night what about what about a whore martial artist I mean you can multi-class yeah you can yeah, you can multi-class uh, and okay okay so all right let's then decide on a feminine name. I yes. think I think a feminine name would suit the beauty of this thing. So that's what about that's name? also a little slutty. So I believe him with that one. <laughs> Jennifer. No. Okay. No. Something something with much more elegance, something with a little bit of mystique. I definitely think Jenamitsu. Jenamitsu? Maybe, but that Look, hmm. Sakura. Sakura? Mhm. Mm I think Sakura suits. Suits the katana? Yeah. It Do you seems... think, all right, here, like, I actually think the longsword would be a male and the katana would be a female. I could see that. I and could see that. they would actually end up marrying one another. It would start out as a bit of rivalry. <laughs> and they would argue. Yeah, all oh, they their, would argue. In their marriage, and they William would William would think that Sakura is a bit of a whore because she's getting so much attention, but when she's he just concentrating on her martial arts. I know, arts. and she, it's, it's not all she's her, doing. It's not her fault. She's, she's very she's just beautiful. She's a good sword that, that attracts a lot of attention. Yes. And it's other people trying to pimp around. She's like, no, I'm just trying to be a good look, sword. Look, being a little bit flirty. There's nothing. There's yeah, nothing yeah. And about. so when William actually gives her a second look, it's like William. William. Th thank you very much. Thank you, William. <laughs> he's like, you know, you're actually not bad. And they, they start out as rivals, and then they come together. What we should probably talk about is their child. The uh, Oh, that is a proper bastard child. Yes, this is the unholy <laughs> offspring of the katana and long sword. I just realised something. Both of these swords come from royalty. They would have to. They would have to. Yeah, uh, yeah, right. Like, you've got an Olympian and a, and a martial artist. Martial artist. That, Look, that maybe I was a little too... Uh, Harsh calling the katana. Oh, and it was mainly just to trigger people because I think it'll get it in But also, there's some truth to it. Um, maybe the hot popular girl in high school. No, I thought, okay, but secretly a princess. But, but the, no, the hot popular girl in high school that's also a martial artist for the katana. Okay, okay. Yeah. But I, I, the reason I say royalty and secretly a princess or, or whatever mm. is because I think that sword would be disowned by both families. Po yeah, <laughs> quite possibly. Absolutely uh, disowned. This is the Simitana or the Kumita as we call it. And we do have a dedicated video on how we made this wonderful sword. Check it out. All right, all right. We should talk about um, William and Sakura's William. Willi William. William and Sakura's parents. We should. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're we're going rather than the big brother. We're talking about father. Father. Could you get me the father of the the, the long sword, and I will we'll compare them. Uh, let's go with the claymore. But I guess they have different styles as well. Okay. Actually, okay. no. Yeah, yeah. The blue one. We'll okay. start. Okay. We'll, okay. We'll start with this one. The parents are definitely. Not happy. Yeah, yeah. So, all right, personality-wise. Oh, wow. Oh! <laughs> it's funny, the Nodachi looks longer, but it's actually not. <laughs> well, we start at the, it is, no, it is. Start at the at hill. The blade, at but the blade. if you go from. Oh, full length. Full it's length. It's still longer. Tiny, tiny bit. Tiny oh, bit. It's, it's a bit. Counts. So, here's the thing. Nodachis are overhyped. 
We've tested them out. Their edge, because of the length and curve on them, it, the edge roll. alignment sucks. Like one of the main, oh, yeah. If you could, if you could do straight downward strikes, and finally the martial arts around them is focus on straight, big, chopping downward strikes. But you need to go sideways strikes and anything more complex. I'm not saying you can't cut with them. They are difficult. I got it. Yeah, I was waiting for because I don't, I, got it. I don't I got quite it. know I... what angle to take. Ha, huh? pun. I don't know quite I what angle it. to take these from. The steroid. The roided out bodybuilder, where it's all show, it's all muscle, but oh. little strength. And when it comes to the practical side, it doesn't really come through. The roided bodybuilder. Okay, we'll just, we'll stick with that because I can't think of anything for this one. This is, this is like outside my wheelhouse it, it's and fancy. it kind of breaks my brain. It's fancy, it looks tough, but when you put it into action. In that case, I feel like a great sword. Okay, or a, so a war sword. This is, should be. This is a trick because this is this is a really good war sword, and it's on great sword range. Just it's on the lower end of great sword. It's, a, it's a sliding scale, but anyway, it's really. also one of the more elegant, well balanced ones. It's got a really fine taper, and it's good at thrusting, and when sharpened up properly, good at cutting. This one doesn't have a good edge on it, but it's a little simple and i don't mean that in a bad way i mean that there's like not really much to the yes, design overall yes. and it works and it, it, works it works beautifully in in its specific role it's a bit impractical in a lot of other roles oh yes it's a more impractical weapon for self-defense maybe then not necessarily royalty mm -hmm. but how about the barkeep the big tough barkeep that always has to throw people out of their tavern when they get drunk and mm -hmm. may not be the most nimble but he's definitely tough. Tough. He's big, mm -hmm. strong, could hold his drinks. I think, it's a, hold his I drink. think it's a little more elegant than, I, mean, I guess the barkeep, because I'm, I'm thinking bouncer, but no, the barkeep no, no, the has bar that elegant, you know, and, he's and ready to give you an ear when you need it. Business savvy? Yes, yes. I think that's a decent tip. Okay, okay. Yeah. What about a name? We haven't come up with a name for this. I'll go that one. Mm -hmm. I think if we have William as his son, who somehow comes from royalty, even though the father is a barkeep, mm -hmm. I think, John. John? John. Just simple. This, uh, you know, I John. agree. This looks like a John. John. I agree. Not a John. 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 I got the perfect name for it. So. Yeah, yeah. Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> uh, all right, we're just going to go with that. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. But I mean. And maybe Schwarzenegger at the after. <laughs> Schwarzenegger. Although. It's a very European name uh, for, it, a, for, for, for a thing. Statue. Although, if this is the case, I definitely feel so sorry for. <laughs> wow. I definitely feel yeah. sorry for some of the, the models in the 80s oh, that Arnold may have hung out with, because that's, that's awkward to get in. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Okay, so I think we need to go to some classic one-handed swords. Yep. Specifically, arming sword. Sure. And rapier. Type 13. You need some time to think about the arming sword? Well, I'd already thought about a profession for the rapier, so oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> What did you think of the, ra the rapier first? Dancer. Dancer, see, to me that doesn't de uh, describe its lethality. This is such an optimized, lethal, deadly sword. Mm -hmm. I was actually thinking the secret agent. Oh, where very fancy, suave. Okay. 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 Yep. I can see that. And but deadly, deadly. Okay. I can. I can. I have the perfect name that. for it now as well. Yeah. Bond. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. That makes sense. This, this I see as very militaristic. Very, yes. very militaristic. Yes. So not not secret agent, mm -hmm. but in a similar vein. I would look at this as like, this is a marine sword. Yeah, this the is marine. not not mm. SAS super secret behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. SAS like we're going in, guns are blazing yep. type SAS. Mm -hmm. <sighs> if that's the case, what's a good American red, white, and blue name? A good, you know, mm -hmm. what's what's a good American name? Do you think? Steve, like Captain America. Captain America, Steve ah. Rogers, or just Rogers. 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 Yeah. Rogers. Because you, the military last name. Yes. Rogers. Rogers. And it's like, Roger. We already know what he does. Yeah. He kills things. <laughs> yes. For a living. This, this is fun. This is actually <sighs> like, you know what? Some of these are really appropriate. They are. I like, you, what? I was going to say, we should do a little bit extra on this because we've only got swords. We've only, we're, doing, we're only doing swords in this video, but it does make me want to think what we would name like the longbow yeah. or, or the halberd. Yeah. So what we'll do. Or a Danax. Yep. 
exclusive video, okay, to see what we will name our other classic weapons outside of the classic array of swords, all you need to do is become a supporter, and that is through channel memberships here on YouTube or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Player, one to five dollars a month, and you get access to heaps of exclusive content. Not just the one we're doing now, which is gonna be heaps of fun, but, oh my gosh, like. I've already got a name for the Danux. Oh, do you? <laughs> there are so many fun videos, us testing wacky, stupid, silly things. The lightsaber one is still kind of my favorite. I that think. is, I, yeah, the lightsaber one where we're trying to we, fit, we see bruise our, each other. We see how hard they. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, but, also, <sighs> but also, just further discussions, like we discussed the most deadly weapon that you would actually want in Dune, and sorry, heaps of content. Yeah. Member, and then if you want, you can uh, donate a little bit more because that is the only reason we're sustainable. I always mention that ad revenue is the worst it's ever been. And that is and true. And it seems like I'm a broken record because it's it's actually, it's getting worse. Mm. I'm not the only creator mentioning this. And so thank you to everyone who's supporting us. We are only able to keep going because of you, but we do need additional support to have that security going forward. So one to five dollars, and then, then you get the exclusive content, which is heaps of fun. You'll get to check out the additional, you know, video where we talk about the other fun kind of Personalities of weapons. Mm. All right, so now let's get back to uh, get back to the sword. So, all right, that was, I think, quite an accurate, successful round for yes, the rapier. Yes, I think so. I think so, and and also for the uh, oh. arming sword. So now, the Kriegsmesser. Oh, and do you want to grab the Gladius? Sure. I think maybe the Kriegsmesser could have been called Arnold, <laughs> <laughs> but we can't now. I oh, yeah. I think I already know the profession for the Kriegsmesser. Really? Oh yeah, butcher. Yeah, that just makes sense. That just makes it? sense, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? <laughs> you know what's interesting? And I don't know if I'm just on the military train of thought here, but mm. obviously this is a very military blade. I'm thinking fighter pilot, and I don't know why. Mm. So the Gladius is really good at what it does. Yeah, it's but a it's bit... a backup though. Like it's from behind it. It's little like a... It was the primary weapon for the Legionnaires. Yes. It succeeds most when it's used in conjunction with a shield. Yes. So fighter pilot can kind of work because you need the jet. Yeah. Without the jet. And it's also a sneaky bop, 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 yeah, yeah. bop, which it, is, you know... It's pretty powerful, but it's also underestimate people don't realize how great the gladius is it's a deadly chopper people think it's deadly de I mean, it can cut just as well as a katana oh, yeah. sharpened right yeah. it has a lot of weight like just oh, that the, little the bit weight more weight concentration up the top. it surprises people how well gladius is i'm going to stick cut. with fighter pilot it can also thrust really well i'm going to stick with fighter pilot is there a type of fighter you know jet that is underestimated i mean there's an entire fighter jet that's built around a gun oh the warthog yeah. oh no is it the Warthog? It is the Warthog. Is it? Yeah, that's it's built around its massive armor. Well, it's not a Gatling gun, because, but it's... Well, it's, it's made by Westinghouse. It's, it, it's based on the Gatling gun. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's, I think... I the think. Warthog fighter pilot. Yeah. Very powerful in its yeah. specific use. Maybe not got huge applicability. It's actually, that particular plane is used um, for attrition. Mm. And I mean, I'm pretty sure that a Roman legionnaire and the rest of their friends can hold mm -hmm. and hold down a place and, and win by attrition just by holding their ground. Yeah. So I'm sticking with it. All right, names. I got a name for it. Yeah. What is your butcher's name? Sven. Sven? Sven. I can see Sven. Sven. I can see Sven. Sven works. For the Gladius? Italian. Ooh, an Italian name. What? I could not think of a greater compliment than this to the individual who has this name. Raffaello. Raphael. I knew Ra you said it as soon as you said it. Raffaello. Okay. Metatron. Shout out, buddy. <laughs> Raphael, the fighter pilot. <laughs> the controller of the DACA. All right. Oh, hmm. oh, I some, some... immediately come up with a profession for this. Oh. And this is going to sound bad, but the drunkard. Now, it's not really a profession. You could say drunken sailor, and it's a little cliche. You know, you, know, you might be right there. The drunkard. Dangerous. Yep. You know, you don't want to underestimate them. Mm -hmm. Okay. There to have a good time. They are indeed there to have a good time. We'll rob you yeah. for the sake of it, mm -hmm. and not because they're being malicious. It's just because they're angry. Yeah, and look, I, it needs to be a drunken sailor because... What, well, ex-sailor, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Oh, maybe. 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 I mean, what would you do with a drunken sailor? 
What would you do with a drunken sailor? Throw him overboard, man? Yeah, yeah that's, that's a difficult oh, question. Oh, you can tell where Dad's coming. Yeah. <laughs> now, this is supposed to be a scimitar, but it's yeah. actually a messer. Let me let me get our scimitar standard. This is a much better example of a scimitar, more specifically, a sham shear. Mm -hmm. Scimitar is a... Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's pointy and you're pointing it at me. Well, it's uh, not really pointy, but it's curvy. Curvy, very curvy. Scimitar is a very misunderstood uh, word and sword category. It is. Because uh, to my understanding when I looked at it, it doesn't actually refer to any specific type of sword. It's a more general term that got evolved a bit. And uh, like apple. Yeah, uh, well, Europeans co-opted it, basically. Um, uh, it's a word that comes from another culture that does refer to... Actually, no, that's sabre. Sabre is also another confusing term. English has a... For yeah. those who don't know, English has a habit of taking other languages mm. down dark alleys and beating them up for their grammar. <laughs> yes. So... Yes. And so, scimitar can refer to uh, tolwar, akilish, mm -hmm. shamshir. It's like an umbrella term for the really curvy Asiatic swords, slash Middle Eastern Asiatic swords. Okay. Um, so that will help inform us as to the, the profession. It has to be hugely misunderstood. Very effective at what it does, but focusing on a very specific role. Yes, and the way they cut, there's very specific techniques mm -hmm. to it. What about, an what about a belly dancer? An entertainer? <laughs> Not that type of entertainer, Shad, just entertainment for the eyes. And I thought I was being harsh calling the katana a whore. I said, I said entertainer. Belly dancing is a very honourable profession. Really misunderstood. Mm -hmm. um, I Look, I don't want to call it uh, a politician. <laughs> they're no. Just, they're, that is not universally hated. That would also just be a dagger in the back. Yeah, exactly. Well, while you're thinking about okay. that, how about we go through the name with this? Because I think I have the perfect name. Oh, yes? Mm. What would be the name for? Carlos. Leroy. Leroy. <laughs> Because you can just see this going, Leroy Jenkins, really? and running in, chopping away with no disregard, no regard for its friends or anything. I can see not, this being called Leroy. Not Jack Sparrow? No, Leroy. No, Leroy? Jack, Jack Sparrow has a bit of elegance. Yeah. This is just a drunkard. <laughs> Leroy? Oh, Leroy. I'm, you've convinced me. I like Leroy. Okay, so... What about, what about your... Profession for the sham sham? Hmm. He keeps pointing the tip at me because it's so curvy. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm not media, it's like I'm pay, facing it up. <laughs> I'm just glad it's a laugh one. <laughs> um, grossly misunderstood. Hmm. Hmm. People might, might not like where I'm going with this. The, <laughs> it's very culturally misapplied. I'm thinking the Christian missionary. <laughs> grossly misunderstood. Always uh, misrepresented, has a very specific mission and role that it's after, can be very effective in the right hands, can be misused in the wrong hands. Okay. 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 Well, like we're crossing cultures here we to, make, to cultures. make that work, but mm. I can see how you got there. What about a name? Hmm. I could, I could go even further instead of the Christian, the Mormon missionary. <laughs> 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 well, that's my I was a missionary and uh, and uh, yeah, very misunderstood. Or we could go the other end, a Scientologist. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, no, let's Look, not go, let's I, not go I Scientology think, because think, that's a useful source. I think our viewers can find a better profession than what I'm coming up with. Well, how about uh, you come up with a name and you can let us know in the comments. Uh, the really misunderstood. Be. Hated by many, mm -hmm. loved by lots of people. Mm -hmm. Sometimes accused of being racist. Yeah, some people th say that uh, the scimitar is a racist term because it's, it's co-opting other languages. Okay. Mm -hmm. Donald. Oh. <laughs> I don't like that name, <laughs> but it works with everything it he just does. said. It does. What about, we just go straight, just Trump. <laughs> <laughs> moving on. I think moving on to the next blade. I... What do you guys think? Is that, does that fit the <laughs> ship <laughs> I mean, <laughs> your way of getting to the logic definitely worked. I'll give it that. Oh, thank you. I would like to talk about the claymore next. Now, this is one of two real well, types of claymores. Could you pass me this other claymore? Sure. Which is not actually a claymore. It's just, it's more of a German style. Uh, oh, yeah. Great well, that's a Robert the, Robert the Bruce one. Well, now, I, I that's mean, actually what I wanted to say. I wanted to call this one. Mm. 
a shark hunter and actually name it Bruce. Yeah, but this is the problem. <sighs> that sucks. It's a crappy sword. Would it, shark hunters aren't probably, well, actually, I don't know if we know any shark hunters, but like, is there any Needs reason? It still looks strong, but it's more of a fraud than the bodybuilder. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I just think calling one of these swords, one of these two, Bruce, just kind of works. I think almost we could call that the politician. Looks big and strong, pretty useless. Yeah, full of hot air, postures a lot. Clyde? Clyde, yeah. yeah. Aussies will know. <laughs> <sighs> all right, all right, let's go with Clyde. Mm -hmm. Clyde the politician. All right, when, if you want to go for a Claymore star, not really star, but like an actual great sword that is functional mm. and is a beast. Now this one is not as elegant as the other great sword uh, or war sword mm. that we were talking about. What was the profession that we gave the blue one again? John. You mean John? Yes, John. John, John the Barker. John. John. All right. So this one, S similar um, kind of things with, of course, the other war sword, where it's very useful in some specific instances, not universally, um, uh, f you know, a functional, uh, but it's a bit more strong and brutish. Okay. It doesn't have that fine thrusting capacity, yet it cuts like a beast. Okay. What are you thinking? Hmm. Profession wise. Popular, people like it. It does this style this style of great sword gets represented in the media. I like it. The, the politician is trying to copy everything good about that. That's right. So what what would the politician want to copy? A sword of the people. Hmm. Revolutionary? Mm. Mm. Something that a politician wants to be but always lies about. It. It's <laughs> fake. An honest person. An honest person. <laughs> an, an, an empath. Uh, uh, the charity volunteer. That's what I was thinking, mm. or like something philanthropic. So, yes. So uh, somebody who like runs a soup kitchen. Yeah. Yeah, I think okay. that works well. I it, think that works. Because it, it's related to the barkeep, right? It absolutely mm -hmm. is. It absolutely is. Yes. Uh, it gives back to the community a lot. Mm -hmm. Yes. So fight, fights for the people, mm -hmm. and the politician tries to copy it in every way, but fails in every Dramatic. other yeah. way. There we go. Name. Need a name. What's um, a nice, what's a good name? A name, a name of the people. A name that people can rally behind. Not the Polly's name, not, uh, not Clyde. Alexander. You don't like it? I feel like people will stab in the back. Okay. Uh, suits politician. Yeah. <laughs> Jeremy. That sounds like a nice name. Let's go yeah. with Jeremy. Jeremy. Jeremy, Jeremy, the Jeremy. philanthropic yeah. Pillar of society, and um, I'm going to put down Clyde. I don't like handling <laughs> Clyde. So we have one sword left. By the All right. Do you want to do the honors? This is the Chinese Dao, I believe. Uh, this is. I a, don't know my Chinese blade, so I'm going to nod and agree at this point. It's an ancient style sword. It is. It is. I've actually seen a lot of pictures, and I've done a, a, a video myself where I actually had to mm -hmm. go and look up that. That is one of mm -hmm. one of the older designs of swords. Just mm -hmm. a nice straight blade. Straight blade. Wrap, functional, effective, you know, respected. And, yes. And old. And you have to remember, the martial artists take mm -hmm. a lot mm -hmm. from the Dao. So, so the, uh, Jean, Dao? the retired philosopher. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and a monk. Yeah. Religious. Religious. Yeah, yeah. I can. I can see that. I can mm -hmm. see that. What about for a name? Um. A nice, actually, a respected name in the martial arts community because the martial artists do oh, like it. Oh, oh. Lee? Lee. Lee is a very Lee. respected name yes. in the martial arts community. We got it. Done. Lee. And I think that's... The, that's about it That's for the completed swords. for the, this group of swords. Though, do remember, we have uh, a few extras. We have a few other extra. weapons. So, become a supporter and... Uh, let us see, uh, come and join us as we name some of our other weapons, but also share in the comment section what you think the characteristics, profession, and name should be for some of your favorite swords. I I'm actually genuinely interested to hear what people think. If, do you reckon we got some right? If you really object, what would you then suggest as a replacement to be better? That is true. Like genuinely, and thank you everyone for watching. This is just a fun, goofy video, but it actually is involved a lot 
in the sword enthusiast culture because we kind of look at you know a and characterize swords a lot yeah, yeah we do and it may help hopefully a few uh aspiring D, &D writers or authors out there mm. with personalities of blades <laughs> so thank you for watching and if you want to get a bit more information on some of these swords we've got this deep dive video on the rapier oh and that, that's where we like if you're wondering hang on we picked secret agent i'm like that's a pretty that's a pretty high up there that makes sense especially with the little movement I, rather really than does. the big movement but if you want to see why secret agent is such an appropriate profession to characterize the rapier check out this video and you'll see just how deadly it is can i take it out can i have the rapier can I? okay you can you can, can I? yes <laughs>